Hello everybody, this is ZigZagZog coming to you from somewhere in this world. And ahead of us, we're staring at Operation Firestar in the ruins of Singapore. And when one goes to the ruins, one often runs into the Lost. And indeed, we have a sit rep today that is including of the Lost. And then we also have another sit rep, which will make this a little more challenging against us. And that's Vigilance is active on this one. So the detection radius of all the advent is greatly increased. So uh, the normal abilities we have to get ourselves positioned and see all the crates and know what we're up against kind of thing is going to be a lot harder. There's a highly higher likelihood, especially if there's a lot of lone drones out there, that we can get discovered before we desire to be discovered. Let's get down there and see if we can prevent that from happening. All right, we got a graffiti-filled wall ahead of us, so... Advent forces are in the process of airlifting a number of supply crates out of this area, and we have an opportunity here to take a few for ourselves. Locate and mark the crates with transponders, and Firebrad will handle the rest. All right, thank you, Bradford. We are indeed in a graffiti-filled alleyway to start this mission, and we have sight of at least the first crate that we want to try and get to. Other than that, it's hard to tell uh, what kind of a map we're facing, whether it's just a bunch of storage containers, whether there's going to be other buildings out here and whatnot. So let's just kind of get a feel for the team since we didn't introduce them at the beginning. And we do not have a Shinobi, by the way. So we're all hidden at the moment. But once we go live, we are live. Uh, the leader on this thing, I guess if you want to call him that, is Laser Master because he has the leader perks like a Get Some, like a Focus Fire, like a Single Command. We actually have two two pops of Get Some. Uh, we got Command, and of course we do have Rapid Targeting. So you do not have an upgraded weapon, Laser Master. You kind of lost that. I think was it either it was when you were in a sick bay or in training and you haven't gotten it back so laser master does not have one <laughs> so we're gonna have to really use your strengths as your leader skills to help us out fortunately we have some shooters on this mission we have both boomer and goblin both sporting mag rifles uh, so two rangers along will help offset the, the the firepower that we're losing from laser master not having an upgraded weapon the alien grinder has an upgraded weapon to go along with his gremlin. Uh, Alatrista has a scatter ray. So there's our upgraded weapon and our damage core right there. These four. And then Nameless follows up with a little Psy potential. No upgraded weapon, but Psy adds a lot. He's kind of a, a good finisher with soul fire and kind of can help us if he can make us or make himself connect. Uh, to get some people to go a little insane, you might say. So, uh, since we have this extra vigilance kind of thing, Laser Master, I'm going to run you to the door to kind of open the door. And yeah, we have an, uh, to try and not move very far forward and see if we can improve our vision. Because I really worry about going up to the corner here. All we need is like a drone or something right around the corner. So let's see. I guess the drone could be right behind that door too. But <laughs> I'm trying to improve our chances of getting through or out of the alley without being spotted. And so far, uh, that looks possible here. So our next move is I think what we'll do, Nameless, since it seems better at least to come up to this corner and not get caught. So let's let's have you take a peek. Sure. Yeah, some scared. Oh, scare there's the old like load and lone drone we were talking about. And uh he's facing ahead. So let's hope he moves ahead with his little two mini spotlights. And that'll keep us from getting locked down. I think with that in mind, I'm going to bring a boomer here. Understood. And Goblin, get your shiny self oh, over here. And then uh, Dave the Alien Grinder, I guess we can bring you here. Unfortunately, you are not of the Trojan build. But let's start here. 
And as long as this drone does not move straight back, we'll be okay. If it moves straight back, we can we can we can get ourselves locked into position, even those that are right here. So a la triste. So maybe what I do is I try to get over here a little more. I don't like double yellow moves on a turn when <laughs> these things are. Look at how far he can reach. I mean, just look at that detection radius on this guy. How far away we'd have to be not to be seen. So this is that's why I say it's going to be tough to get up to the crates like we want. Because if we are exposed before we get in near any crates... It's like good luck getting four crates because you need at least four to be successful. So I'm hoping we can at least get up to a, a number of crates. So if things go south from there, we can at least grab our four and get out of here because this is the way I see it happening. And let's hope it doesn't. But I see as if we get exposed accidentally, and this is what I'm afraid of, they start marking the farthest back crates that we're closest to. And we're just out of reach of them. And then they do the next farthest. And, and, and we can never even get our four. That That's that's something of my nightmares, just so you have an idea. Sí, All right. So, Dave Daly and Grinder, I'm going to move you a little farther over, just in case he turns around. Not like I need oh, you on right. Overwatch. And then uh, I I'm leaning towards keeping some individuals there. Now I got full cover here. Let's just do it. And Boomer. Let's get you up to this corner. Order's confirmed. On move. If he's going to come over and expose us, let's get as far forward as we can get, right? Okay. And there we go. Okay, he's going away. We have hope that he will not expose us, at least yet. All right, so how far does the map go over this? Okay, so he's... This uh, thing that we just lost sight of into the mist is near the map edge, so the, the, the chance of him continuing in that direction is pretty slim. So I think it's in our best interest to start finding some crates from whatever positions of safety we can get to. And unfortunately, you can't get to that position of safety, and that's half, that's all half cover. So let's see if we, Alatrista, how far can you reach? On a blue move, that is. Because I, I, I don't want to move, as you can see, because of, you know, if you move a full yellow move, boom, you're in their radius of detection and we're exposed. And we, we don't really want that. So I think we'll just do a, we'll just do a bunch of blue moves to get us as far forward as we can. Hope the gremlin doesn't turn around immediately and just reverse course immediately. Uh, we'll come up to this half cover now. Confirmed. Little jumps ahead, Enemy a little at a time. Away. Okay, we found uh, some enemies and it was a heavy lancer, advent sentry, advent grenadier. And uh, let's look at the grenadier. I, I, we had one a, in, in another mission, but I don't know if we got a perfect look at them, or did we, has, have we seen one? Because they look just like the engineers that shoot the, you know, somewhat benign, you know, they're annoying, but mostly benign flashbangs, whereas these guys shoot grenades. So let's see if we can focus on them and get a little F1 information here and just... Look, okay, look, 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 look. <laughs> These guys are nothing to trifle with. They can launch, so obviously at quite long range, they can launch incendiary grenades. They can set fire by throwing a handheld incendiary grenade. And these are individuals I want to see dead and laying on the ground. Uh, therefore, uh, you know, the hazmat vests we recently gained, they become all of a sudden more important to us than just those technicians or the technicals. So, yeah, I, I worry about these guys. Now, the good news is, uh, as long as we're hidden, we're okay. But we got to be, and I'm glad we spotted him so we don't accidentally walk into him and then they get first shot and they're actually able to launch one. But he, he becomes... Because of that, in my book, 
uh, somewhat of a priority target. I'll be so moving on. I'm gonna. Yeah. Oh my. Scary, and we got another like surveillance drone. Let's hope the headlights facing in that direction bode well for us. Also, it doesn't necessarily mean what we want it to mean, but we can hope. Uh, maybe what I do, just so we have some vision in case this guy turns around and tries to uh, come in our way, and let's give you vision up here. Copy that. For gremlin duty. And then the rest, I, I uh, was shiny goblin, I'm actually going to double move you here. Well, actually, I'm going to double move you to full cover, so we at least have somebody in full cover. Now, this thing, even if it comes all the way down here... Straight in one move. I don't think it has movement. Ooh, I take that back. 19 movement. You would be able to move 12. Oh, yeah. 20-something 20 20 something on a double move. 20, 20, 25 on a double move. If you can't... You, you, you do have the ability to move pretty damn far. So, Shiny, since we're already kind of stuck here, we're going to bring you here also. At least you'll be on Overwatch with everybody else in spite of double moving. And then a Laser Master to get you in a position just in case the worst movement happens. Let's get you up on the balcony from which to command. No skates. Alright. And uh, now, for a worst case scenario, let's Overwatch Roger. some folks. And cross our fingers that they don't wander in a way that we. Okay, there are the the Advent Grenadiers running away. At the back of the truck, I see another potential. Cra uh, just what I didn't want. Just what I didn't want. But he stopped, just in the right spot, to allow us to move forward a little. Problem is, if we move forward, yeah, we are locked in place here, Aletrista. So, so part of me is saying, uh, we're getting close to go live time. We are getting close to go live time. I could bring, you know, because if we do go live, the good news is he doesn't see all the way over here. Who can get where to give us the best chances here? There's still, as far as we know, we, we know of two crates, period. That's not the four minimum we need to win. And the half cover is not our friend. And obviously he's going to move here and we're going to go live next turn. I kind of want to see where this other group is. And maybe that's what I do with you, Nameless, to keep an eye on the other group. Because if we go live, uh, they're going to be drawn into it. I want... To be able to focus on that grenadier, so we don't have to get burned. <laughs> Let's just say it. We all knew the dangers that night, but we went anyway. Yeah, That's so we have our the eyes night. on these guys again. The grenadier has eight hit points. There is a heavy lancer, which is no, you know, it's it's also not something to trifle with. Shiny Goblin. Now, what I could do with you, since we're not going to go live, but we're we're not going to make it go live, but I'm thinking of bringing you here on a double move. The risk is a little bit of unknown over here, but that's kind of where this group was and this thing was, so let's hope that's all that was over there. You'll be in uh, full cover for if things go live to help us out. I have a feeling things are going to break open big time. And it's too bad uh, we didn't have a specialist with Trojan on this one, or we could have handled some of these potential lone drones and, and not worried about going live. But, you know, not every soldier has every perk that you want, and sometimes that's just the way it goes. And I'm leaning towards let's stick you here so we can at least have you on overwatch boomer and be in full cover when these guys revert and come at us and then we're gonna have to just start scrambling big time because we know we're what five out of twelve there's still seven more out there 
Affirmative. We're gonna have to start scrambling big time. Boy, are we gonna have to scramble big time. Once things go loud. Dave Daly and Grinder. Be nice to have. You know, I'm probably going to bring you right here, Dave, because then if he comes around the corner, we'll have you available for Haywire. And everybody else hopefully then can focus forward on that Grenadier and the Heavy Lancer. And maybe we'll have a chance to get out of this predicament. Let's hope. Moving sharpish. And then Alatrista, you're there. You're you're just there. And that means Laser Master. I don't know that there's anything, but the good news is if we need an extra shot, we'll have a choice between a shot that wouldn't probably take anyone out but maybe the sentry. But it's a potential backup shot. We'll have rapid targeting. We can focus fire or get some on somebody. Perhaps, perhaps. So... I'm just going to overwatch with you. And everybody else remaining. Roger. I've got my eyes on. Is the drone going to go first and uh, expose us? No, they're going to walk away. So there is even a slight chance they won't go live against us. We'll find out. Oh, now he might. Now we go live and we see what's going to happen. Both drones are are going to be seeing us. Now this is a okay. Already. One drone will be seeing us. Okay, they did they did see it. They they are in range with their extra vigilance. So sorry. And we did damage. That said eight damage out there. We took someone out. It was probably the sentry, the one I fear the least. And the drones are down. The drones are down. This is good news for a difficult situation. The bad news is that Grenadier, I believe, is not down. I believe he escaped. Whoever we shot, yep, there he is. It's blue. That was the sentry. So uh, the, the you-know-what is somewhere farther back here. So I guess we will be focusing instead on the Heavy Lancer initially shiny we have the ability to flank this guy and get a big bit of hurt on him let's do just that and hope we don't pull any other pod at least we're finding a couple more a couple more things it'll we'll, we'll do this as a blue move the first move of all so if we pull someone else in by getting this flank we can react and we didn't Whew. Big sigh of relief. 83% is our shot over here. And we do not have a follow-up shot because we had to move to gain this flank. So what I'm thinking is Laser Master. Now might be a good time for rapid targeting. So let's uh, come back up here and double check. Your shot itself is no special thing. So the question becomes, do I want a rapid target so get some is one action, and it gives us a bonus to crit chances. Uh, focus fire, obviously someone is out of range, and we can't quite use it there. And we have our command. Intervention really won't apply on this particular mission. We got reinforcements in eight turn. I got to remember to get down an evac at some point. Now, we're probably going to face uh, even more fearsome enemies, but this guy with a little tick of armor... There's nothing to toy around with. What I'm going to do is our rapid targeting. It'll be it'll mean it's on a four-turn cooldown. Because if I do this one... Oh, it's only one action on my first move. So I could still do something else if I choose to. Let's hollow target and save the rapid for when I really need it. I'm hoping this wasn't a moment where we really need it. but <laughs> Shiny. Let's check out your shot now. I like it a lot better. Blast away. Fortunately, crit is up to 33%. Uh, we, it, it's helpful. It's not amazing, but it 
better than it was. What did we do? Did we, did we do? You did it! Yes! Oh, it's good. Now, uh, we're going to have a little bit of overwatch. To try and prevent this guy from running up at us. <laughs> Part of me says, uh, let's, let's go find him. Nameless. We do have a command we could give you if we feel we end up getting too close uh, finding him. Well, it's, it's, he probably jumped over this wall here. I was thinking it was water there, but that's a little farther back. So he's, he could very well be in there. I wonder if this is going to be enough to give us potential sight. Let's find out. No, it's not. And I really probably am going to pull you back, Nameless. I was just hoping to get lucky to find this guy. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to move a little closer for Overwatch. But hopefully not too close to get grenaded. And we'll try to keep ourselves a little spread apart. Let's move already. And cartons, crates will have to be marked post haste. Or yeah, post haste. I guess that's the term. I was saying post and that's what mean, that means after the fact. But no, <laughs> that's not what I am going to do. I'm going to come here to be ready to mark this. If we need some, because that guy is not, our cover isn't going to be as important against a, a grenadier. Uh, being a little spread out maybe will make a difference. And you have a, a hefty weapon to be able to shoot. And I don't know the best angle to put you at versus range. I'm going to bring you right here. And then we're going to pull back since you only have a SMG. So we're going to bring you here, Dave the Alien Grinder, for Overwatch. I'm on the move. So we're going to have this Grenadier on Overwatch Patrol. Now, he's the last one in his pod. There's a chance he does not approach us to try and launch a grenade. There's a chance he runs to yet another pod, so we have a tougher time when we get exposed then. Nameless... Since you really aren't going to help us, but I want you close enough for potential mind games. I'm going to bring you back to full cover here. That's hopefully spread out enough from this. We'll bring you back to full cover here just to make sure we're spreading out a little bit. Sure. And then Laser Master. I guess I don't have anything for you to do specifically except... Yeah, we should be out of gun range. I'm going to bring you up here to move, start moving you forward. There's nothing else for you to do. And we at least can get you cover up high. I, I like the vision of you having command or view over the battlefield to give your commands. But I need you a little closer as we found out with focus fire. Verstanden. Rücke ab. So I don't think you're in risk of being shot right now. I hope. Let's overwatch. So if that guy's coming for us, we have a chance. And do not... Well, you know, you might as well mark the crate. Well, what, what we're going to do is it makes no sense to mark it now because there's a chance that maybe we can get Advent to mark this one and we're right there to take it right back. And if they don't mark it before we move away, we'll mark it. So we, we kind of got a couple bases covered by leaving you there. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Aggressive Grenadier or Passive Grenadier? Let's find out. Lost Swarm is very close. And uh, we're looking at a Passive. And guess what? They did what I hoped would happen. That means you, Goblin, also can mark a crate. And bring it back to us. You'll gain some vision for us to see if we have another pod to worry about. So let's find that out early. And we have then full cover we can potentially move you to. Okay. Didn't find anything, but we get to take these back. That's the good, good news. Work. Advent's locator is down and our transponder is active. Firebrand will handle the pickup. I'll say. We got two. We got half of the minimum that we need on this one. And we're definitely going to try for more. 
We see another one, two, three in nearby range of access. It involves pushing forward and potentially activating more enemies, though. So now we should do just what I mentioned and start pushing forward. Sí, estamos listos. And we don't see the Grenadier. Dave the Alien Grinder, I'm going to bring you here. You'll be real close to the loot, but more importantly, we might gain sight on who we're looking for here. And I, it's a blue move, so I can pull you back. And we found him. That is the Grenadier. And at, at the moment, we're just a little too close to him, is what I think. We're just a little too close. I don't even think Laser Master has a shot. Oh, yes, he does. Not an amazing shot. It looks like he should be in full cover because he's low enough behind that wall, but I'm not going to complain that we're looking at half cover on him. I am not going to complain. So what I may do, once again, it's a one-action hollow target. We're going to hollow target him because I'm going to see if I can get some help on this guy because I do not want to face incendiary grenades. He is marked. Eight hit points on this guy. So we have a potential shot from you, Laser Master. Oh, or do we not now? Because you, you, you don't have a shot anymore because we used an action. So I might increase our crit chances on this guy. I don't know, but I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna leave a command in the back pocket too. Uh, nameless. You can get to here and not see him. You can get to here and not see him. You can not get anywhere to see him. So we will not have any psi help. Well, we could because we can command to get you closer if we manage to do some damage on the guy. If we can manage to do some damage on the guy. And unfortunately, nobody can get close enough. Absolutely nobody except right here, you. So part of me says, Dave the Alien Grinder, we might pull you back. Now I can get hit, I can do a hail of bullets hit. And with your weapon, that may just be what we are going to do. Because then I would use my command to get Nameless close enough to see him and do an assured kill. So let's hope Hail of Bullets. Hail of Bullets could kill him. I mean, there's a chance, but we are hailing the bullets. All hail the bullet. Slotted him. Okay, there. Incendiaries are off the table. Ooh, that, that's a big relief. Although I have a feeling the quality and caliber of the enemies is... Uh, we're not done yet. I think I'm going to keep a few of us moving forward. Yeah, we won't be in full cover. We'll have... Uh, I, I feel like now that enemies could be wandering towards us, I want Overwatch, half cover or not. Tired of waiting around. And, uh... I might, Shiny, how far can you move? You know, yeah, that's a, it's a little bit of a dangerous move. No, not really, because I have someone here that's a little far forward, but not aggressively far forward. Hmm. I'm gonna leave you right there and overwatch from there. Or maybe I, I move you one more so you can be ever vigilant from Full cover. And not expose. And risk exposing something by moving there. Even though it's it's a small step forward, it's still a step forward. Nameless, it's now time for you to join the crowd and get up here. And I just might uh, move you a little farther. Well, there, you can't quite reach... Oh, you can reach the cover here. And it's probably okay. I just hate... Hate my last move being the one that pushes us too 
not one step too far. So let's go here. Not that your overwatch will really matter. Now we'll just stay there. And Laser Master, this may be where I bring you forward also. Right here. Verstanden. Bewege mich zum Ziel. By not being up high, lines of sight can be blocked by you, but I, I do need you a little closer. Potentially. So overwatch everybody who can. I like it here. Scanning. Okay. So it's the lost that are gonna eat up our overwatch. Well, they're eating it up, and we're not eating them up very much, are we now? Okay, we did take one down. Okay. And we injured another with our little SMG. Firebrand is on deck for recovery. Keep marking those crates, Menace 1-5. So I'm going to say without Advent making an appearance, uh, we're going to have to spend some time, because I don't really want to bring Advent into it now with the Lost totally focused on us. I would like to just kind of handle the lost as to the best of our abilities. Uh, so you're going to only get a single shot. Now what do we also have here? We have airdrop. Well, we're not going to use that right now. If someone drops... Well, the, dro the drones are gone, so the odds of need needing revival protocol aren't there as much, but we have it. If we need it now, that, that, that would be a bad thing. <laughs> that would be bad. Sweet, is it not? All right, so we have some shots. We have a dasher who's closest. Grapplers I despise. And just some regular lost. Uh, the dasher, I guess, uh, is the one you will start with first. The thing is, I'm, I can't pick that up. What I may do, Marcus, is move you here for your single shot to help us out. Let's take care of the dasher. Oh, that's not called taking care of a dasher. And you just made everybody else's job just a little bit more difficult. Okay. Doggone it. Some, some people just don't take the proper commands. You know I'm the right man for this job. All right, advanced agility. Well, yeah, I guess you winged him. So let's finish the job because that's about all we can guarantee happening with your with your shot, nameless. So let's do it. Well, there's also uh, there's also the pistol. I wonder how much damage your pistol does. Is it all oh, one to three versus two to four? Yeah, it's one to three. Guess what? Two to four is still better. Because you don't have any perks to go with that pistol yet. So, no, let's not fire the pistol. Let's take a shot at the closest guy, because you can kill him if you hit. Alright. Shiny. You at least see one right off the bat. And you're only going to get one shot whether I move you forward or not. So, let's take the grappler out. Yeah, bye bye is what I say too. Now we 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 are going to need to reload you, but as we saw, you don't have line of sight on anybody else, so we're just going to do a non-free reload. Save it for when we need it. Alatrista, I can move you here without really moving us forward too far. It won't be a great shot though. Will not be a great shot, but we're going to try it. And then 83%. Well, it's a little greater than I thought. And that did the job. And then I can hope, we can hope that you can see the last two and you do. Let's go and do it. We're going to have to use up a free reload to kill them all, if we can. Oh, we didn't take him down. So guess what? We, we didn't kill them all. 
Oh, maybe. Free reload. Well, we still have Laser Master, who has a shot himself. So, that's only four. Laser Master, you do four minimum damage at least. Do you see him? Yeah. And that means you, Boomer, can focus on the last guy and hopefully... Now that this is a follow-up move... Oh, well, I'm not trying to move you. Let's light him up. So the lost, at least this time, timed their appearance well. Now we're going to have to see. One is gettable. The other one, not so much. So we may have to let that one go. This one is in a tricky position. Because it opens up a ton of the map, potentially. So I can at least unmark this one. I don't think we dare do a, a follow-up move here. So I'm going to move here and remark this one. A goblin. I hope you're right. And we, I'm surprised we didn't pull a pod just then. It would be uh, amazingly foolish of me to move forward and be greedy enough to get that one. It really, really, really would. Another one there. And we got one down on the waterfront there. And, oh, wait, we actually have a couple right here, too. So I don't necessarily have to push forward so much. We can kind of move laterally and try to do some things in fact i'm going to try that lateral move here because there's we're not moving very far forward to do it marcus and we got just the way i hoped just the way i hope now shiny yeah, I'm not going to I'm not going to be tempted because we found a few extra crates over here. What I am going to do right now is think about evacuation point and getting that out there. So we we got 1 2 3 4 We got four. We got two now. With an well, let's say, excuse me. We got three now cuz that's officially marked. So we got four totally marked. So we have our objective met, and then we have another one, two, three within easy reach to get us up to seven. So evac zone here works for me, I think. Alatrista, you're in a position to set evac. So we go like right there. I'm trying to get a sense of how much farther forward. Well, there's a chance we, we let's let's just get it far forward and do that as far forward as you can get it at least this is and I hope the fact that it's underneath <laughs> I just realized it's underneath this thing <laughs> I don't know if we can be lifted out of there but well, it said it's okay but <laughs> oh, this will be interesting uh, everybody place your bets now will we be able to evacuate Oh, baby. Uh, I think what I'll do, since there's a couple crates on this side, and this is full cover, let's let's give this a go. Okay. Okay. There was a slight chance, because it was a little bit farther forward. And I'm not probably going to try pushing us too, too, too far forward. I'm going to try maybe getting Boomer up to the truck. Here I come. And then Alatrista, I gave you this half cover here. Hopefully we're okay. Vamonos! Okay. <laughs> that was a big, <laughs> a big stretch on my part. Now, Shiny. Is that full cover? I'd feel a lot better having you in full cover. And it's basically moving to the side. 
It's a little bit of a stretch for there, but we're going to take it. And we're okay. So everybody else, get ready to overwatch. Moving to overwatch. I, you know, we have a free reload, so let's just overwatch. I'm on it. And Laser Master, let's kind of bring you forward a little bit. Say to full cover here. Advent just airlifted out their first crate. We're going to have to move fast if we want to get the rest. Okay, Nameless no longer has cover, so let's hope there's no yellow alert moves towards us. And there's not. So this is where uh, we need to find out what pod we're going to reveal by moving here. <sighs> Nothing. I'm kind of saying maybe we don't have to move too far forward because we can still mark a couple more and then technically be in range for a couple more. And there's another one pretty far back that'll be tough to get to. So right now we have four. I can mark two more, hopefully without activating them. It gets us at least to the halfway point in crates. And we have our evac coming before the reinforcements if we decide we the best course of action is to pull out. So I, I, I'm okay with our position right at the moment. Nameless, can you mark another one for us? What needs to be done will be done. And nothing. That's only half cover. How much farther forward do I dare push is the question to try and get in range of these things. That's the big question. Like right now, next turn I could get Nameless down there. And now obviously I can get you there. We can reach these two. The question at that point will be, will we want to reach those at that point? Now, since you're here, the only problem is there's a nice, there, there's some hidden spots that we, we have not revealed yet. So I think I'm going to move a little farther with you, Alatrista, without overdoing it. I think this might be overdoing it. Well, this might be overdoing it. But we're going to take a peek. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm so nervous each time we take another step forward. And the, pro the challenge here is uh, we have a lot of half cover to fire from. And there's not a lot of necessarily full cover in range after that. Now there is here. So maybe what I do is I bring you here, Boomer. Let's get a sense with a blue move first. Well, Goblin ran over that way. It should be safe. No need to ask twice. And Laser Master, I do like the idea of probably keeping you right there this turn. Probably keeping you right there. I'm just going to reload you. Well, you know, it's Overwatch. You have the ammo. Nameless will mark. And then I'll spend this moment to reload you. And I'm just not going to move you any farther forward, uh, Dave the Alien Grinder. I just feel this is not the time to push it. So let's overwatch. Uh, you know, let's reload and overwatch. Back online. 
And overwatch everybody else who can. Okay. One of the ones that's marked, we can reach. That one... <laughs> it's just it's just sitting there going, come on, come on, come on, I dare you, I dare you. <laughs> well, the biggest dare I'm going to take right now is right here, and we're lucky it's a blue move that we get to do it on. There's always a chance you don't come back. Yeah, we didn't see anything. So therefore... We're going to move our support a little farther forward. Although, there's still a danger moving you here. But it's it's blue moves for us. Let's do it. Yes, Commander. Oof. You know, we've only killed five. There's seven out there. How far back does this map go? Wow. Uh, this is one I'm not interested in going back there to get it. There's there's a lot of hidden corners and sites and places for people to hide. You name it. I do feel that Alatrista. I'm gonna inch you forward here. Sí, estamos listos. And that's probably all the inching I'm 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 interested in in doing right now i got a couple crate oh i got a lot of crates over on this side don't we the thing is you know going out here it it unleashes a lot of issues and and ground <laughs> i think i'm gonna bring well that brings us a couple steps forward so i think what i'm gonna do Let's see if I can come this way. And do it like this. I'm going to bring you here. Oh, it's a yellow move to go there. Is it? I thought it was a blue move. Let's do this. But at night might not be. Oh, it is. Oh, no. It's always that one square too far. The one tile too far. And now we gotta pay the price. <sighs> Why does uh, Commander always have to do that one tile too far thing? That's what I wanna know. Fortunately, Shiny is nearby. Not nearby, probably enough. For two for a double barrel. Well, we got a double barrel shot here, and that would allow Laser Master to pull you back from there. The good news is, Boomer, you do have a shot, but it's only there, not against the others. You have a shot, but it's not amazing. A combined standard shot attack by this soldier and their bondmate. Well, the bond, your bondmate is probably too far back to have an effective shot. And yeah, you you actually wouldn't be able to see them. The Spectre is the one I kind of need to deal with. The problem is running up here to do what I would like to do, the, the feel-good thing, is not going to help us. Laser Master. Not quite close enough for focus fire now, are we? And this is still squad sight range for them. Klingt machbar. And maybe it opens another opportunity for us? No. We can rapid target. Once I pick the target, I want to rapid target. They're all in full cover. 
Now, one thing, because they're grouped up together a little bit, we can airdrop to somebody and play that. And Alatrista, I don't know that you would be able to throw a grenade far enough. If anyone's going to have a chance at a grenade throw, unfortunately, it takes away her shot. It's a shiny goblin. And that's all, all those are full cover shots. It's just a tough, tough situation. Nameless, do you see anybody from where you are? Yes. Nameless, can we try a little insanity over here? Only 54%. We've seen better. Now this would end your turn. Normally it's not turn ending. So part of me says maybe we just go for the sure damage. Or maybe since you can be seen and standing in only half cover, we also look at using mind merge. So there, we're, we're, we're just... Hmm. We don't have the tools to get rid of these enemies. We do not have the tools. And Boomer could not move even with command far enough. And shiny, the problem with you is uh, we also don't have great cover for you to take a shot. Dang, what was what was feeling like it was going pretty well? We knew it had to explode because we were there were too many enemies on the map to not be running into some. Too many. So right now I, I'm thinking uh, I got to do airdrop. For one. And it does end the turn because we've moved. So I gotta dole out some multiple damage is kind of the way I'm thinking. Kind of the way I'm feeling. And uh, let's do it here. Not that any of this damage we could uh, apply is gonna kill anybody. But maybe it'll bring the lost in. Now maybe we can count on the lost helping us? Let's hope. So uh, other options are to pull back, but, but then uh, Shiny gets killed because she's not in great cover. So I kind of feel like we need to support Shiny a little. I have a command available to help us out. And if I, I don't want to group up too much also with the serpents, so wouldn't it be nice to kind of move some of, them, some of us out of the way? It's a toughie. It's a toughie. Now I can come over here. So I could take a command to get me... You know, like somewhere here. If ever, if only I, if I can only be in half cover anyway, I might as well come over here wide, where we have less chance to pick a pod back there. At least be able to mark another crate. I can uh, do uh, soul fire over there, and maybe we can have a chance to actually kill one of them. And that was good. Because if I can then a move... Because what I'm going to then do is probably try looking at stunning here. So what I'm going to do is try to command a boomer. Let's give boomer the command. There's, there's so many of us exposed. Everybody needs the command to get somewhere that we need them to get. You know, and because they're in full cover... Um, I'm not going to do the command yet. I'm going to do this first, just to make sure we hit. Oh, and I therefore can't see who I want. Well, let's do lightning reflexes, so no overwatch. Can we... So I'm going to try. It doesn't say anything about not being able to zap him and make him drop, right? 
that way. That's what I'm gonna try. I don't like the idea of horror. Probably a waste of my rapid targeting, but I'm doing it anyway. And then uh, I, I can still issue my command. I think it was the last target, yep. Still not feeling comfortable with what we're doing. But we have walk fire available. Finally. I was hoping to hollow target the one we needed to walk fire, but we couldn't see oh boy. Alright. Woo! You see that? We did take one down. We might as well mark this thing while we're here. Because we may die. <laughs> we just may die. And 48% versus 28. We got to try the coin flip right now. Well, the other thing we could do is... No, because your advanced teamwork isn't really going to help us. Oh, well. Yeah, we missed. We couldn't pick up his particles, and here we go. Come on, Lost. Where are you? Help us out, Lost. Help us out. Oh, this is what I'm dreading. Uh, yeah, I dread the die. Quite dreaded this. We are shadow bound. And where's the specter going to move? Okay. I could think of worse. Go for the lost, maybe? Yeah. He's going for the Lost, so the Lost actually helped us a little. Now we have to do uh, some big time killing. Ahead. We have some big time killing ahead of us on this guy. What I'm going to do is focus fire on him because we need our guy back. This is where I'm going to focus. And I do not get to take uh, an, an extra shot also. We could, we could, uh, let's hollow him also for the benefit of everybody else. The focus fire already, uh, spend an action point to a target, grant your squad a cumulative aim bonuses and one armor piercing. Well, there's no armor, but the cumulative aim bonuses, I like the idea of that. And hopefully these play well together because I'm going to do this also. Because you can't shoot right now. Because we need to kill this guy. This turn. Alright. Alatrista. I'm bringing you here to get a big old shot on him. Uh, snake be damned. Let's hope the lost keep him distracted yet again. Although... Maybe that's tempting fate a little too much. We're coming here. I think we're coming here. This is your bond mate he grabbed. 80% crit, can we? Not quite. We did get a crit. And we don't have to hit him much more. A boomer. You do have a free reload. And now is the time for us to use it. Oh yeah. I'm gonna bring you. Once again, if I bring you here, we're opening ourselves up to the snake. It would be nice to bring you farther back. We got a couple grapplers we're gonna have to deal with. Holy smokers. Or who do, do I have anybody else that might kill the guy? You know, Marcus? 
you have a chance to kill this guy. You're not super close. Well, actually, yeah, we don't have... That's on cooldown, so we, we don't have that available to us. But I think I bring you back. Ooh. <laughs> I'm tempted by shiny things. I, I worry about the snake, but he's way back. I mean, way back there. Still 90, though. Better than I expected. Okay. He's down. And Dave the Alien Grinder is back. That's cool. Now we have grapplers. Now who can you see from where you are? Nobody. Nobody. You can't even see this guy? You gotta be kidding me. Okay, so we pull you back so a limited number of them can get to us. We're running away from crates that we need to mark just because I'm not confident in our position. Oh, we got him. So the, 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 the visuals of that shot did not inspire confidence, did they? So, Dave the Alien Grinder, who can you see? We can see this guy at 80, this guy at 80. And you're also going to get a shot, potentially from full cover. So let's do the clo uh, The thing is, if I bring you here, this guy can reach us. So I, I probably will be pulling you back too. So let's do the closest to 80. the target no now i'm worried that the, a grappler can reach us now he only has 10 so he shouldn't be able to reach us and grapple i hope tired of waiting around how many and that leaves now? a couple targets for the snake and they're going for the snake who reaches us. I don't think they can swing. Oh, they missed. Come on, grappler. Oh, you couldn't even grapple at him. They're starting to lose ground. Okay, they marked two crates near us. The serpent is getting grappled, but he's coming for us. Is what it feels like. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. Hmm. There's two more crates out there. And they're right there. <laughs> Two more crates out there. Evac has been set. And there's only two. I, I was thinking, uh, oh, I guess it's not lined up as badly, as poorly as I thought. So, <laughs> boy, could you imagine if I could have thrown it farther? I would have been totally underneath this thing. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, that would have been a total zigzag moment. So, I think uh, we play it safe. Because if I run up here, there's a lot more... Uh, we have eight. Where's where's the three others that are active? Yeah, I'm not feeling secure. It, I think we just got to be happy with our eight. Is the way I'm going to play it. Because running here, it's not a single move to get back out at the evac. And then if we run into folks along the way, we are out of position. So we are going to kill... The zombies nearest to us and back off as we can. There's a snake out there trying to get us right now, too. And I don't want to keep us bunched up either, though. Uh, you can kill this guy. And you'll be able to overwatch against the snake. Not that he can't dodge. Hopefully, he ran this way, kind of lost sight of him, but he might have gone through that gate, which tells me even more that there's probably another pod back here, which is another reason not to go for that. So, we are pulling back. We are definitely pulling back. In fact, I can get here on a blue move and start evacuating now. Let's move already. And from here, take a 
But we can't see that thing? Oh, the po You know, it's a thin zombie. I get it. It's a thin zombie. I see how it is. A thin zombie. So you're going to be able to evac. We can get a shot for you from here. We can get a shot for you from here. Let's take our shots. Let's see if we can take that zombie out. Right in the kisser. Draining ammo fast. And, uh... Actually, I think now... Even Shiny with that shot on her zombie... I think now we'll all be able to make it out. There's nobody else I need to shoot. We're just gonna bail. Take our eight crates, call it a day. I'll be moving on. Because I'm afraid that snake scattered to another another pod. And yes, all of us can make it. <sighs> uh, we know you can make it to that corner. So yes, you can make it here. Natürlich. And Alatrista, not to be left behind, go here. 8 out of 12. Would have been nicer, but given the whole situation and the early activation, early exposure, I'm not going to try complaining too hard. All XCOM operatives are secure. Firebrand is returning to base. All right, there we go. Flawless. Not in the amount of crates we got. <laughs> Not in the amount of crates we got, but still. We'll take any supplies we can get our hands on. And three, we, you know, we took uh, two-thirds of the supplies available to us. Not bad. Aha. We, we seem, when we have these cool missions, we seem to like the totem pole effect. Wolves among shadows. And uh, we lost our shadows early on this one, but we still managed to, to get her done. So I'm thrilled. Advent recruitment numbers continue to reach record highs. Administration officials credit the recent wave of successes against XCOM radicals as well as double ration rewards. All right, decent shot percent, 87 and a half. Shiny, you're the one that dealt the damage. Uh, the most attacks, Dave the Alien Grinder, actually. Didn't feel like it, but you're also the most under fire because you got shadow bound. And then finally moved the most, Marcus, Nameless Joy. Your SMG came in handy to allow us to mark those extra couple crates at the end over on the side. Uh, I'm happy we got away with as many as we did for being exposed as early as we were. So, good job, team. Impressive performance, Commander. Our troop skills are improving with every deployment. All right, we got Boomer with a promotion, and we got Nameless with a promotion. We got we got a psyop going back into the tubes here, my friends. We got a psyop going back into the tubes. Now, when you click here, it doesn't help and tell us at all what we're going to have available next time, but we'll find out soon enough. Boomer, let's see what you have. Ah, now we have an executioner for you. So it'll make some of those wounded shots a little better for us. And, you know, I, I might have make, made that shot against the Spectre if you already had this. Because that would have made it an amazing shot for you. Now, let's see. Okay, we, are, we did pick these up already. And I'm planning to then pick that up, perhaps. So we, we just... I, I, none of these... Yeah, none of these seemed as good as that. So we're going to hang on. And there we go. Good, do good job, team. And we got 66 supplies. Hey, uh, nothing to cry. Uh, nothing to cry about. That's for sure. Eight alien alloys, six Illyrium crystals. We got a 11 dodge, Illyrium core, data cache, and an advanced expanded magazine. So there you go. All right. So we're gonna come down here for you, Marcus, and take a look. 
And we have a soul steel, fuse, and fortress. So, soul steel kind of goes the path of null ward and void rift, which isn't a bad path. I tend to prefer. Uh, well, fuse is just a good pickup. Period. I especially with Mac, you know, those carrying explosive, and especially with the grenadiers appearing now. I like the idea of fuse a lot more than I did before, and fortress. So, I, to be quite honest, uh, void rift can come in handy, but you know, I'm going fuse, and uh, we're gonna have to probably pop a scientist over there to help us out and shorten that time just a little bit. And I'm putting one in there. All right, and our training time is six days. I can live with six days. I don't want to pull any more scientists and slow down our research any more than it already is, unfortunately. So um, our, our next option, and it's already been long enough here. So either this becomes the long mission or next episode becomes the long mission because we got to do infiltrations and a mission, which makes for long missions. So uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to stop it here just because my time, it's kind of late. And so <laughs> I, I haven't yawned yet, but, you know, we're getting to that point. So I think I'm going to do the next episode a little fresher. It's going to be a long one. I'm not going to hide that fact from you now. Uh, you know, there's a chance what I may do just to shorten it is do heavy edits and just go from infiltration to infiltration and anything that might pop up and just kind of cut out a lot of moving around on the Geoscape. Let me know if you have a, an opinion on a heavily edited version like that or if you would rather just have me do my normal short shortcuts and speed ups to get through it. But it could be an upcoming very long mission. I want to thank you. I hope you enjoyed this one. We came out... After that early activation, I was uh, extremely doubtful that we'd do as, a, as well as we did. Uh, so I'm not going to complain about not getting all the crates. I'm just happy with what we did get. And I hope you are happy with the mission too. This is Zigzag Zog signing off from somewhere in this world. Thanks so much for watching, and I do hope to see you next time.